Hey there and welcome to Nikki Gimit. Um, I decided to make this video because for the last um, four days or so I have been trying to set up the voice meter banana um, to work in the way that I personally did it and to make it work with Streamlabs OBS. Now what particularly I wanted to do was have the have the um, the sound from the game go straight to <clears throat> excuse me go straight to um dream labs at the same time i wanted to listen to music um from spotify but that i did not want it to be sent to my stream uh, because as you know nowadays uh, very strict with, um, with copyright so Spotify, since you are using Spotify, you are not allowed to use it uh, for anything else other than personal use. So in case of a stream, that, that would be completely out. So um, I wanted to still be able to listen to my music, but the music not go to my stream. Um, I also wanted to, I mean, I have in the background some uh, browsers open and for those i wanted to be able to hear them but again those things are going to um i know it's um quite easy to do however i have been struggling because i'm not a very tech uh, person so let me uh, walk you through it a bit and explain to you what i have done and Hopefully you will find this uh, useful as well. So without further uh, much ado, what you need to do is you will need to, uh, to download your voice meter banana. And for this, I will put a um, website in the description down below. After you download it, of course, you install it. Once you install it, it will ask you to, um, to restart uh, your computer. So do that. Um, from the same place, um, you can also download the VB Audio Virtual Cable. Um, install that as well and then restart your computer one more time. Uh, I know that you can do it to download the two together, install them together. And then after that, you will uh, just uh, restart your computer once. Anyway, for me personally, I've done it uh, two times. I felt uh, more at ease with it, and that was that. So again, what I wanted was the um, all the audio from my game to go to my recording into my stream. I wanted myself to be able to listen to music, but that not going to the stream. Um, I wanted also to be able to hear the um, the browsers and also that not going to the stream and I also wanted to have my microphone go to the stream but for me not to hear it so once you have downloaded install it and restart your computer um, start your voice meter banana it will look like this now after you do this, what you need to do is you need to basically set up your windows. Now, because I'm not using the uh, the version that is already registered, um, most of the things that uh, most of the tutorials that I found on the internet, um, I could not actually follow them step by step. So again, that's one of the reasons why I decided to do this uh, uh, this video. So once you download, install everything, you're all done. What you need to do is you need to go to your um, uh, to your sound uh, icon over here on the bottom right. Right click on it and then open your sound settings. Now, once you have done this need to choose your output device as your voice meter input okay so once you have done that not the voice meter auxiliary not anything else just 
voice meter input. Now, once you have done that, you can go below and you will find this and sound options. You can click on it or from down here, let me show you first. So it will go into this or from down here in the search uh, uh, part, you can uh, search for sound mixer option, which basically takes you to the same place. Um, now over here, this is the place where I got so um, so confused about uh, different uh, inputs and outputs and so on. What you want to do is from the applications that you have open. So I have open over here my Spotify, uh, just for an example, and I also have one browser. You can have as many browsers as you want, and you can do something similar with it. You will want to put your um, streaming application, whether it's uh, OBS Studio, whether it's uh, uh, XSplit, whether it's like in my case Streamlabs OBS. You want to put it as voice meter input. Now the second thing that I've done, because like I said, I wanted to be able to hear Spotify but not record it, I put my Spotify as auxiliary input. A voice meter auxiliary input. And then I wanted to have my my browsers on a completely separate uh, channel and I put them as the cable input. Okay. You can put them um, on on same uh, channel that uh, that is not a problem. The reason why I have done it is because I want to have them to have the opportunity of record them separately. So I'll just leave this as a cable input if it allows me. There we are. Now back to your voice meter banana. The first thing you want to do is you want to set up your microphone. So if you click right over here, you choose your microphone. In my case is this uh, Razer one. Now the WDMKS and MME are basically the kind of um, drivers that voice meter banana will use uh, this if i'm not mistaken it's a windows device uh, so since i'm using windows i i chose that one it works for me and you just need to make sure that uh, the type of driver that you use whether it's wdm ks or mme you will use also for your uh, outputs so once you you have set up your microphone over here you will also need to have an output for basically for you to hear so if i choose here a1 over here i have chosen as a1 my headsets because that's what i'm using okay so right now i'm able to hear in in my headset what I'm talking in my microphone. I do not want that because it it gets uh, really annoying. So I'm going to switch it off over here, but you can still see that uh, it is being recorded. Now the next thing that I have done was, let's move it to the side a bit. I have my um my spotify going to my auxiliary input okay and that is this one over here which are the virtual input okay it will go to voice meter auxiliary so if i start over here this one just move it right you will see that the volume will start to go okay i'm just going to stop it because i don't want this video to be uh, taken down due to uh, copyright yeah but it uh, it starts to go on this particular channel now my other um, all my other browsers will go to the cable input that is the reason why you download the the, vir the vb audio virtual cable and for that i have 
it over here as another one of my ins because I want to be able to hear it in my headset I have chosen A1 because that's headset I also want to hear the Spotify in my headset so I chose for my auxiliary A1 which is my headset now you can play around with this um, to make your voice sound different you can uh, make it that in such a way that you have a um, the voice to be uh, stronger uh, louder uh, not so loud and so on however for that you can play around by yourself now going back to Streamlabs OBS previously I was able to to have them done however it was once I do the voice meter banana based on what I saw on all the videos I was okay with it however when I was moving towards Streamlabs OBS this is where I was uh, failing so what I needed to do was going into settings into audio over here for desktop audio I've chosen voice meter input which is my master basically that is where all the um, all the audio from my uh, desktop goes to then I have chosen my auxiliary input my auxiliary input is my Spotify and then I have also put my microphone and last but not least the cable output which are my browsers Okay, so all these you can can choose them from here. Now, once I am done with this, I wanted to make sure that whenever I stream, what goes where? Yeah, because I don't want everything to go to the stream. So again, in my settings at output, I told Streamlabs OBS you basically. Uh, record everything that is on track one sorry everything that is on track one goes to stream and the recording I want you to record all six tracks to know exactly what these six tracks are if you right click on sorry if you click on the mixer settings you will see them over here so I have my voice meter input which is my Computer, desktop you have the voice meter auxiliary input and that is my Spotify you have my microphone and my cable output which are my browsers so for channel 1 I want everything to be sent to to the stream and that would basically be all I also want to record separately just my desktop so whenever I play a game I just want the sound from game to be recorded on channel 2 on channel 3 I want to have just my uh, Spotify on channel 4 is my microphone and then on channel 5 are my browsers okay so whenever I import then after I record a session or a live stream when I import that video into um, an editing software, something like um, Premiere Pro, then I have separate um, audio channels according to this over here. So then I can go and uh, mute uh, certain uh, channels. I can also go and um, delete certain sections without affecting the entire uh, video so these were my workaround if you have any questions about it uh, please feel free to ask them in the question uh, in the section down below okay and if there's anything else that I can help you with can let me know and I will try my best to do so this is Nikki gaming and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider subscribing and giving a like. Thank you and take care.